A bomb scare on board a flight from Detroit to Denver. Passengers taking these pictures when they were taken to a remote runway and forced to sit on buses on the tarmac during an investigation. New information tonight on the story that we first broke on 7 News at 5. 7 News reporter Marshall Zellinger has been live at it DIA all night. Marshall, within the last hour, those passengers were finally allowed to go home. Passengers getting bused here to the main terminal just around 9 o'clock and finally being reunited with the family that has been waiting for them because they spent most of their evening on the tarmac here at DIA being interviewed by the FBI after a note was found aboard their Detroit to Denver flight referencing a bomb. Karen Vance reuniting with her husband Joe after his Delta flight from Detroit made an emergency landing after a threat was found on board. Our flight attendants found um, a note indicating there was a bomb on board towards the rear of the aircraft. The FBI came on board the plane and asked, of course, did anybody leave the note? They said there was a piece of paper in the back with the word bomb written on it. Passengers snapping photos while waiting on the tarmac for four hours. And they told, came on the announcement and they said, like, we found uh, there's been a threat to the aircraft and everybody needs to turn your phones back off and this is not a request, it's a demand. After searching the plane with canines, the FBI did not find any bomb. They found the corner of one of the pages was ripped out and that was the note that was written on and said, you know, there's a bomb or something like that. We don't think Delta cleaned the plane before we got back on, which happens all the time, but that's a pretty big thing to miss. That passenger, Aaron Barrett, tells me that where that uh, note was ripped off of a menu was in a row where there was an elderly couple and a person who never left their seat. And the note was found in the back of the plane, which is why he believes it wasn't anyone on his plane that had anything to do with this note. Reporting live at DIA, Marshall Zellinger, 7 News.